Hello and welcome to Rick Martin's Blender 2.5 video tutorial. Today we will be modeling a jet engine. The exact build I am using is 2.57. We start out with the st standard viewport. I go down to view, we're going to change it to the, the front view. I'm going to shrink down this cube by hitting yes to shrink. Shrink and stretch. Now we want to shrink it along one axis. So hit Z, Y, or X depending on the axis you want to use. Right now we're shrinking on the Z. Shrink it down. Now we want to change to the top view. We want to stretch it out along the Y axis. Or we want to go into edit mode hit tab for edit mode before we continue we want to change the shading it's on bounding box we want wireframe this makes it easier to select vertices and we also want to change the view from perspective to orthogonal orth orthographic that flattens it out just a little bit easier to work with. Hit A to unselect all the vertices. Hit C to bring up your circle select. And just click these four vertices. Now we want to shrink them down a little bit. A to unselect. A to select everything. We're going to subdivide this for when we smooth it out later on. We want four cuts. Now hit tab. Go over to the right. Select the wrench, which is modifiers. We want to add a modifier. Subdivision surfaces. Click view to two. And then click apply move this back over now we want to go to the front view again Got one last thing to do to our turbine blade gonna angle it so hit R to rotate put about about 45 degrees not quite and we want to go back to top view now we want to reposition our cursor that's just a uh, white and red circle with the crosshair. Want it uh, at the center of our spin. Now we have to be in edit mode to spin it, so make sure it's selected and hit tab. A to select everything. And uh, go down to spin. Now we, we want it uh, 360, 360 degrees. When entering values, you just click on the number and you can enter in whatever you want. We'll try 45 steps. You can, when entering values, you can also click these arrows to go up or down incrementally. It's a little slow now because we got so many vertices. The model's a little bit more complex. And if it does something funny, doesn't spin around properly, you want to check your axis and make sure it's the proper axis. Axis. Now I'll leave this mode by hitting tab to, and then change the view to front and uh, A to unselect because we're going to add some more meshes. So we're going to add a cube. 
Make sure you're not selected the first mesh so they don't get grouped together. Hit G to grab and move it. And then we're going to merge the vertices. But we have to be in edit mode, so tab to go into edit mode. Merge at center. G to grab, move it down a little bit. Okay, we're going to extrude. Now it's just uh, extruding funny, so hit escape and then hit E again to extrude. We're going to go around this. E to extrude, pull it out. Now we're going to zoom out a little bit. That's the minus key. Now we're not going to extrude again. We're going to grab this time. So G for grab to move. We're going to come down. Now A to unselect and then A again to select everything. And we're going to spin again. See it did a funny spin on us. That's because we don't have the proper axis selected. We'll go steps uh, 15, which should be good. Degrees 360. Now we'll change the axis to get it proper. Try Z. And there you go, it's around the proper axis. Now we'll hit tab to go out of this mode. Go over to modifiers again. Add modifier. Subdivision. And then A to unselect. We're going to add one last thing. Mesh. Cone. Scale it up. Grab it. Move it up a bit. Scale it down a little bit. And we're going to smooth this out a bit. And there we have a nice jet engine. We'll have a look at it. Go on the view, change it to uh, quad view. So we can reposition the camera. Camera is this little thing over here. So hit scale and then you can increase the size of the icon to see where it is. Now just uh, put your mouse over one of these four viewports to change it on each viewport. So just hit grab away and we want to go up a bit so we go down here grab now we'll hit F12 to render now see it came out a little bit on the side of our Hood there. Hit F11 to exit. So we're going to select this, scale it up a little bit. Now F12 again. Yeah, it's a little bit better. And there you have it, a jet engine. To make it a little bit more realistic, if you're moving it around, you might want to do another blade at the very bottom, just inside. Thanks and goodbye.